Hi all. I want to do a video today um, about chess books online. I've been working on that this morning at Chess World, hence I haven't been playing any Blitz games uh, today. So, what I was working on this morning was the book finder at Chess World, and I posted to the forum, this is what I posted, due to a landmark Google agreement, a lot of books are going online to be, to be able to be read and partially previewed. Uh, so remember, chess is a game where there's more books on chess than any other um, sport all put together, some people say. So there's thousands of books of chess, and a lot of these go way back. And if you remember our world champions, you know, we've got Steinitz as the official world champion, and, and Morphy was before that. And in that era, you know, a lot of those books are totally, you know, out of print now. You can't, you can't get them. But that's where Google stepped in with their landmark agreement. So, you know... Here, for example, there's, there's most instructors games of chess ever played, and I've, I've claimed it's a full book online, but apparently, um, I'm checking on, on further, there's actually some pages missing. But if we follow this, a full book on Morphe. So basically, this is uh, help and feedback. If you go to the help and feedback menu, and, sorry, the play better, play better book finder, and we put in chess and we put in Morphe, or Steinitz, so we put in Morphe, we'll be able to find some books ourselves, that first book Morphe, click and basically chess world is one of the first sites to 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 make uh, use of google's um you know very clever api for reading some books online so we've got first book of morphe and we can flip through the pages so here we're actually looking at this book uh, i'll try and keep the next button there so um so we've got the index we can zoom in a bit so you should be able to see the, the text easier we can zoom in uh so introduction so Morphe, um, 8.37.34, talks about him. Um, we can scroll down. In fact, another way of navigating pages is just to scroll down, because that's page 7. If we just scroll down using this scroller, we can go to page 8. Um, but for the purpose of this video, to try and make this video instructive as well, you know, let's see what, what, what interesting insight we can get. So in the opening, you know, Morphe was renowned you know, for very clear openings, you know, fast development, you know, King safety was a factor, he, you know, he didn't waste too many um, moves in the opening, you know, moving the same piece over and over again. And there's some top opening rules, which are great, I think, especially for, for a YouTube video. So let's have a look at these. Open with a center pawn. So this is straight from this book, which is viewable online at Chess World, on the Play Better book finder. Just search Chess and Morphe, and you'll find it. So it's because of Google's landmark agreement. You can actually read this book. So these 10 opening rules, open with a center pawn, and it gives an example game. So opening with a center pawn. So the first step towards a happy ending is a well-conducted beginning. To start the chess game most properly, gain control of the squares in the center of the board and develop your pieces. So suppose the chess board were not flat, but instead a hill or a mountain with its highest points at the center of the terrain. Who has the advantage when fighting for control of a hill? The player at the top who can see every direction around the hill when his opponents are fighting uphill. So basically, it's like treating the centre as a virtual hill. Is that a good virtual, you know, reality thing to bear in mind? You know, that's why, you know, your pieces in the centre. It's like they're on top of the hill, and the opponent's army, you know, they're looking up at the hill. I suppose it is. And, you know, especially in the case of like knights, they're hopeless on the edges of the board, especially in the corner. So if they're in the centre, they're fantastic. So they get transformed, so that you can, you feel really that the knights. You know, they're great. You know, is that like them being at the top of a hill, these knights? So anyway, so we've got this um, this game here. And I've, it now works this open analysis board. And so if you, if you arrange your windows so that they're side by side, um, this won't be sort of overlapping. Or there won't be an issue. You can play through the game with the online book here. So H6, we're just following the notation. In the absence of threats, a move in the opening should help accomplish two goals. Control of the centre, mobilisation of the pieces. H6 aids in neither task. So D4, unchallenged in the middle of the board. White gladly places a second pawn there. A5, so black clearly doesn't know what he's doing. A5, a poor move as the first. So I'm reading some of, some of the commentary here. And um, we'll go to the next page now. Um, so I just have to get the... Um, Scroll either scroll down one page, or we can use the JavaScript uh, links on the right, or these links here to go to the next page. So we see Bishop D3. So White plans to take great control of E5 by advancing F4. If he played Knight F3, he would block the F pawn. So um, Knight E2 would block the Bishop. This Bishop, you know, would be blocked. 
Um, so White develops his bishop first. White couldn't have just played f4. Sorry, White could have played s4, but that move would have not have assisted White's development. So then we see b6, knight e2, e6. So I'm just just showing you how easy it is to read a book online with a generic chessboard on chessboard. Um, that's the main point. Let's move c4. So knight f6. The knight has no support in the centre, so it cannot move forward if it's jabbed. Only backwards. It will be dangerous for black to make e4 a support point for the knight. So like d5 is, is too dangerous apparently. Um, so we can use this scroller here to get a better view of the book. Uh, so e5, knight h7, f4, bishop e7. Uh, if we click anywhere, we get rid of that highlight. Knight g3. White has moved the knight a second time, but knight g3 aids the aggressive development of another piece by opening the queen's diagonal. So this diagonal has been opened up, so that she might play queen f3 to attack um, the rook, or queen g4 attacks the g7 pawn. Queen c2 looks immediately menacing, but uh, bishop h7, g6 would surround the bishop. That's not really strictly true, actually, because white would have bishop takes g6, and it would be quite deadly as well. So, you know, white's all, almost got... It's got a totally overwhelming position anyway, but uh, this is just to demonstrate, you know, quite kind of vividly, you know, breaking opening principles. So queen g4 now. So now if d takes c4, white wins material with bishop e4. Then if queen d4, king h1, c6, queen g7. So that would be favouring white, that variation. So black actually um, just castled here. Now knight h5, so white's coordinating the queen and knight on g7. A third knight move, but frets overall the principles. White threatens queen g7 mate, and if g6, then bishop takes g6 wins. Um, so we can continue following this book, next page of the book. Um, by the way, it's more awkward than, than, than you should find it, because I'm on a lower resolution for, for, for recording with YouTube, so please excuse the seemingly awkwardness. Um, it's much more convenient once you try this yourself and get used to it. And if there are any improvements, please let me know. I'll try and make this as comfortable as possible to read books online. Uh, so now bishop takes h7. If black had captured on g5 with a minor piece, it would be pinned. So h4, say, and it would be pinned to the king. If we rewind that, we can rewind that. So h4 will be a pinning the knight against the king. So basically, black recaptured with the pawn here. And now bishop takes h7. So we have this diagram, which meets now, thankfully, with um, the game we've been playing. Um, and we need to again scroll down. So I'm going to go go to the side here and scroll to get the full page interview. Um, so King H8. So White had a winning attack after King takes H7. Um, let's have a quick look at that. Knight F6. Bishop takes. Well, it's clearly clearly winning. Um, um, e takes F6. Rook h8 is totally desperate defense. Uncovering f8 is a flight square of the king. Um, but then queen g5, queen f8. So anyway, let's just try and get to the end of the game, uh, if at all possible. So we'll rewind. After bishop takes h7, basically. Um, so hg, bishop takes h7, king h8, knight f6, d takes c4. The bishop went back to c2. Queen d4 four was played because if queen takes this bishop c5 that's a neat tactic uh, which actually did happen in the game queen takes c5 b takes this isn't a particularly instructive game actually <laughs> knight c6 uh, rook f3 and finally the, these resources are coming together for, for a kill i think so rook f3 every move should introduce most the most new force with the greatest threat white threatens rook h3 and rook h7 mate um so king g7, bishop h6, king, the king takes, and, you know, please can we reach the end of this mate, please, because <laughs> I'm finding navigation on this resolution slightly awkward, it's got to be said. So rook h3, king g5, and this goes on, rook h5, king f4, king f2, and now there's a threat, finally, I think, of g3, so rook g8, we're reaching the coup de grace soon g3 rook takes g3 hg3 mate wow 
So we've managed to play through this this Morphe game, uh, which was demonstrating some key opening principles. Um, so let's see. Basically, um, the winning recipe is to blend better central control, better development, and better king safety in that order. And then from the superior position, opening a fall for the heavy pieces to attack the king, while looking at every move that threatens the king or smaller unit and brings up unused force. So anyway, you can, you can read the rest of the book yourself. And um, yeah, so have fun with that if you do try that feature out on Chess World. Um, please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.